Pastor Singer again. Uh, we just want to give you a final walk through of this place uh, to these old mobile homes. Uh, we finally got this wrapped up and uh, we just want to show you what the finished product looked like. Uh, we'll show you some footage from what it used to look like to what it looks like now. So stay tuned to these old mobile homes. Here it is. It's got a band-aid on the outside, but somebody else is going to probably deal with that later. We did our part. Needs a new deck. We put this new front door on, new light there. We put drip edges above all the windows just to protect it through the winter for now. Here's our finished product. And here's the bedroom number one, what we consider the master. Uh, we just uh, put the vanity in, gave him that, sink gave him that. Uh, we put all this in here, the toilet, all new flooring throughout, put a fan up there, lowered the ceiling a little bit, I'll show you some of that other videos. Just want to give you a finished product. We added a GFCI, put a vent in the door now so instead of having to vent the floor like it used to have. So basically it just sucks air in that way. But uh, we just use same base. It's basically window casing, door casing, trim for base and trim so it's all the same didn't have to mix and match anything now some of these plugs boxes were a little different so we had to bring them out a little bit we just ran some wood stapled it on there so the boxes it's a tire our new windows we put brand new windows in keep that with me all new windows, painted the ceiling, put LED lights in the bathrooms. Well, not that vanity, but we'll let them deal with that. That's LED, painted everything white. All the paneling, we kills it, painted it. Same with the ceiling, it's all pretty much kills and painted. The doors kills and painted. These two doors are existing. We put some new doors in the back. But going out here into the main area now, we're leaving paint for the owners so they can do whatever, touch up, match, whatever. But uh, we did sheetrock in this main living area, walls and ceiling. I beefed up the ceilings to hold the sheetrock. You'll see that in a video. Just some butch block left they wanted us to leave. Uh, we figured we'd throw that back up there so they can make it kind of like a theater looking screen, I guess, with a big flat screen on that wall now. There's our kind of our crown molding, so to say, to help hide the pecs. Vented it on the bottom. I slotted it with a 3 8 dado every two feet. I started at one foot and I went every uh, like one, three, seven, you know, just to get it to where our joint, let me see if I can find it here, joint right here, there's our joint, so we started it, came in one foot, and then I went three foot, and then I went five foot, and then of course seven foot on the eight foot pieces, but that's to hide the packs and let air get to it. We added that light there in the kitchen. You'll see some of the packs we just left it in the 
pantry here, but uh, these were already existing. We just like that. Painted all the doors. Now, we just got these off Facebook Marketplace, mix and match, but we did the best we could. Guys wanted this stupid butcher block again. I hate this stuff. It's hard to put a drop in sink in. Butcher block, the, the brackets don't hold very good, so we had to glue it in. Brand new window, kitchen window. They're going to replace the range in the fridge, I'm sure. Just left that little cubby for them to put a garbage can. But, uh, Vance, this whole entire floor, we put subfloor down first, tongue and groove all the way from one end of the trailer house to the other end. We just notched around that wall, we notched around the pantry. And this is all new framing where the furnace is. So we put a vent in front of that door now. Uh, because we covered up the old cold air return because it was just leaking lots of cold air in. So now the new cold air return is that big vent in the front. Here's the main bathroom. Uh, it was a disaster. It caught on fire. So we had to replace floor joists. We gave them this countertop and this cabinet as well. Uh, we had extra at our place. But new tub insert, new toilet, existing cabinets. My wife just painted them all. Put them back, put the van in now because we took the window out that used to be there. Uh, all new plumbing fixtures. Uh, good thing about this, praise the Lord, uh, this countertop we got with our little house vanity and we're going tile in there and it had this cut in it already so that kind of made it nice uh, nice little place to put a garbage can but I made that work out real well so can reach in. I always like to put my valves like at 30 inches instead of way down here we have to reach guy can reach just right here lady uh, if they're taking a shower, it's easier to change the temperature. Existing mirror, why well, I just painted it white around there. Cheap little vanity lights, of course. GFI, of course. Now a new closet. Uh, we'll let them deal with the door on that. We added a water dispense for the washer and dryer. I put the plug in the wall instead of down there by the toilet now. Uh, we made an access panel for the gas and that's a dryer vent now. We didn't have a dryer vent before. New back door. I trimmed this back door. I'll show you a video how I cut that down to make it fit. I even cut this off to the next aluminum edge. So don't stick out so far because it's reversed. This is actually supposed to be the outside, not the inside. But trailer house, you have to open out. Uh, I don't know if it's egress or what, but these are new doors. This is a new door. I even cut this door down uh, to make it fit here. Because this is one by on this side. I mean, two by two. And this is two by four made it different when we framed it. That was that's a metal stud ceiling, drop ceiling in that bathroom now. Here's the last bathroom. I mean bedroom, bedroom number two. It's all everything's all painted white. A new new LED again. Uh, just like the other bedroom. A uh, bigger door on the front of the breakers. But, uh, yep, there's behind the door, the window, the window, everything's cased out, same, same as the base, the window casing, and the door casing, all of it's the same, makes it easy. All this floor is vinyl flooring throughout, uh, but just over the old breaker box, it had a smaller one, and it had one of the 
old kitchen cabinets. See the holes still? There's our water closet. Now I made this so it can remove screws. It's pieced in there. It's got, you can see a little uh, seam there. Seam there. That way they have to take the whole thing out. I got an air gap at the top and an air gap at the bottom. Uh, we just cut the this shelf was kind of buggered up, so we just cut it back anyways and moved the bracket back one more. This is the water closet. Now the hot water heater. We have a tankless now. Uh, it's all tankless water heater. This little switch here turns the heat tape off and on outside so they don't have to remove skirting or anything anymore. Uh, it's GFI. Got an access panel here. I just forgot to screw this back up. This goes here. That. And then the, I mean that bottom one comes out. I really just get to the plumbing better. Earrings made, made to work on. That's how we designed it, easy, easy access to that water heater now, no more worrying about throwing a bunch of insulation around it outside and everything, so that's a lot better system. Yeah, this is the final. These old mobile homes, uh, this is our first real big major overhaul. I've done more but I've never done videos. This is my first one I totally videoed but we're just leaving now. We're rolling up. We're done here. We're out of here. So this is it. So stay tuned how we transform this trailer trash into a treasured trailer on these old mobile homes. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.